Big stories we're talking about in the big one today. A special election in the Tri-State. Couple of school issues to be decided. The one that has received the most attention, the one written up in the Wall Street Journal yesterday, has to do with a little Miami school levy. Once again, they're trying to approve a levy there to avoid the state taking over the district, which has been having deep financial problems. Little Miami schools have a number of students in the tri-state, about 4,000, and they are hoping that this time they can get the levy through. But the request is the biggest one yet. For $100,000 of evaluation, it will add just over $500 to tax bills. Three past levy attempts, which were even smaller, were rejected by voters in the Little Miami School District. Polls opened at 6.30 this morning. They stay open in Ohio until 7.30 tonight. Madison local schools have an issue on the ballot as well in Butler County. That one's a renewal, so it wouldn't add to the tax bill. Come May, the Norwood City School is planning to go to voters to approve a couple of levy requests. Norwood Board of Education last night wants to put on the ballot in May and voted to do so two renewals. These are special levies that were approved five years ago. They were due to run out. Or we're telling people that if you vote yes for these levies in May, you will not be adding to your tax bill. Congress starts debating the president's budget today, and one thing that could be in danger is something we thought was already settled. The issue of a thousand jobs at GE Evendale. They're jobs that have to do with engineering and work on a jet engine for a fighter jet that the military produces. The president once again saying he wants program cut off. Congress approved it last year, but now funding for the future of the Joint Strike Fighter jet program is in danger once again, especially with the budget being so tight. About a thousand jobs at GE Evendale depend on money coming through. Shake up in the Butler County Sheriff's Department. One of the top commanders is out resigning yesterday. Hamilton Journal News says that Major William Stump has quit after he was accused of inappropriate behavior involving a female employee. The Sheriff's Department saying that he was involved in making rude comments, inappropriate actions involving this woman of a sexual nature. Stump says he's resigned for health reasons. Looking over new designs for that bridge that will span the Ohio if it's ever built on I-75. Federal government and planners have a couple of proposals. One involves a couple of giant cable state pillars that would be bookends to the bridge that would join Cincinnati and Covington. Another plan is to have an arch similar to the Big Mac Bridge already in place on I-471. You can look over the designs if you go to the local page here at 700WLW.com and search news. Nationally, the Groundhog did see a shadow. Strange because it was overcast in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania today. But anyway, they tell us that we're in for six more weeks of winter nationwide. However, in Columbus, Ohio's official Groundhog, Buckeye Chuck, Came out, it was a cloudy day, he did not see his shadow, so at least around here, should be an early spring.